it's Tom Kradzer with another Rockstar Minute and I'm gonna get some heat for this one but it's a question we get a lot from people in their late 20s and it's what good job should I get to kind of get ahead and here's our real opinion on this if you want to live your life on your terms a good job is not gonna get you there it's not gonna give you the freedom it's not gonna get uh, it's not gonna get you ahead and stick with me I'll give you some stats on that to really get ahead you need ownership of things so you need ownership of businesses ownership of property that's how you get ahead a good job will get you something though a good job especially Especially when you're coming out of school can get you skills it can get you bookkeeping skills sales skills marketing skills you know these are skills that you need and you can save some money from a good job that you get out of school to bankroll your ownership of things again income properties or businesses that you start that's how you get ahead and here's some stats for this on you if you go back to stats Canada's website uh, to the year I was born 1973 the average income in Canada at that time was just over five thousand dollars the average income today according to stats Canada for individuals in Canada is just over thirty two thousand dollars that's about a six times increase properties in 1973 when I was born um, they were going for about thirty thousand thirty some odd thousand dollars today in the Toronto area and that was a Toronto property in the 416 area code they're 1.2 million dollars for an average home that's like a 30 times increase so incomes are going up six times in that time span properties the ownership of things is going up 30 times so it's just for that example that incomes don't keep up with things around you that's why it's a it's kind of a poor vehicle to get ahead but it's a great vehicle to pick up skills that you can then bankroll into picking up ownership into things like property or business for yourself and if you really want your life on your terms that's how you have to think about it hopefully this gives you something to think about until next time your life your terms